Uh, question, what would you do if your office was invaded by a horde of zombies? Answer, cardboard crossbow. Let's learn how to make one. You're gonna need cardboard, super glue, skewers, tape, scissors, rubber band, box cutter, ruler, and hot glue and a drill. First things first, we need to make the stock, which is basically the body, which includes the handle and the entire piece up front that's gonna hold the actual stave or bow of the crossbow. We need it to be mobile, so we're not gonna make it too big. It'll be roughly around 13, 14 inches. Now I'm using cardboard that's folded in half, so when I cut it out, I can cut out two pieces in one go to make sure that it's strong enough for all of our zombie handling needs. X out any lines that you don't wanna pay attention to. Cause we're gonna be doing a lot of running and zombie slaying. I kinda wanna make this an ergonomic grip. If you wanna get a particular shape and you don't necessarily wanna risk freehanding it, but you have something of that shape, just trace it. Now this line right here that I'm drawing out, this is so that our bow string can actually feed back. And that's how we're gonna be able to notch our crossbow bolts. Let's get to cutting. So don't try to go through all the layers in one go because it's gonna give you a really jagged edge. If you have something, the straight edge, you can actually lay that along the line you wanna cut. You can actually just push right against it. Just kind of make sure you're cutting through and you're gonna get through much easier and much cleaner because all these layers need to line up later. So we gotta make sure when we're cutting them out, we're taking the time to do it right. All right, it was starting to be a little hard to see uh, what I'd actually cut all the way through on, so I basically cut around my line, and now that it's separated from the bigger piece, I can actually go in and do a little more detail work. So it's always easier to cut more away than try to put some back. This is feeling pretty good. Now that we have the outsides of our crossbows, what we need to do is to give us some more width to our crossbow to give it more rigidity and security. We need to actually cut those pieces specially to have certain gaps in them to make room for all of our internal workings for our locks and our trigger mechanisms and everything like that. Now that we have our additional two interior pieces, we're going to draw out and then cut out room for all of our uh, inner working mechanisms like our lock and our bowstring and our, our trigger and everything. So we've got a nice slot right here for our bowstring. We've got enough room here for our trigger lock. And then these we are going to use to actually kind of put in some stability and stuff, you know, because once we're out there, it's go time. Once you have your middle piece, make that the one the one you test everything out on and it's all ugly and you gotta redrill all the holes and everything, because then you can overlay that, drill holes and line everything up on the outside, and then that gets covered up again by more and more layers. So you're actually starting in the middle and making sure that the outside layer is gonna be your pretty side. Let's go ahead and cut the other internal pocket. All right, so basically what I'm trying to figure out right now is the exact placement of our skewers, which are basically gonna act as uh, locking pins for all the internal you know, working mechanisms for the crossbow. And if I get this wrong, it's not gonna work and I'm gonna get eaten. Okay, we have our internal struts in there with all of our chambers all cut out for our firing mechanisms and lock system and everything, as well as one of our outside panels for support. It's now time to make the trigger mechanism and the firing pin. So what I'm doing right now is cutting out our trigger. You want two pieces of this as well. And instead of just gluing these together and calling it good, we're actually gonna slather the whole thing with glue because this is the part that you're gonna be pulling on the most. There's our trigger. So now we need to make our, our firing pin for that. We just need a straight piece. Now to kind of doubly reinforce our trigger and firing pin. I'm even gonna put some glue around the outside chambers of the corrugated cardboard. All right, I have put a lot of glue into there and I really wanna make sure it's dried and had a chance to cool so it's nice and rigid. So while we wait for that, history lesson time about crossbows. Crossbows, people generally agree, were uh, invented around two for one deal. 
and I think these are ready to go. So I'm actually gonna drill the hole through the trigger and the outside plate in one go so that I know everything is lined up and ready to go. I think I have found the proper placement for our firing pin. Time to put in our power source. Now by power source, I mean the energy by which we are actually going to fire this projectile across the room into the brain of a zombie trying to eat our face. So for that, we are going to be using our rubber bands. Now that the internal workings of the stock are drying and we wanna make sure that they are fully dry before we put full stress tests on them, let's go ahead and make the limb or bow of the actual cross bow. And at that point, artist choice. I'm gonna put spikes on it. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, it's a fancy mustache. Mm. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put in some of our barbecue skewers as kind of like rebar. All right, looks pretty good to me. Very fierce. So, gone ahead and put in our rubber band. Everything looks to be dried. Our, uh, our trigger's working. Whee! So I'm gonna go ahead and put on our outer layer and we'll be ready to assemble. So there's our fully assembled stock. Good. So there we go. Bam! That's what's coming up next. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna notch part of the stock to counter that. I'm gonna notch part of the limb. So once I cut out those two pieces, they'll actually notch into one another. There we go. So this way we're not just relying on the strength of our adhesives, we're actually getting structural support from both pieces, uh, pushing against one another and actually holding it all together. Starting to feel pretty cool. All right, let's glue it in. All right. In order to help aim our crossbow bolts, uh, we want to make sure that there's some sort of guide up front that keeps the bolt from, from swaying one way or the other. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little fence guide on either side to make sure that our bolt is staying straight ahead right where the zombies be at. There we go. Now we've got a nice little guard to make sure that we're staying on target. It is now time to make the latch. Now a latch is basically what is going to allow us to draw back our bowstring and sit behind our firing pin. All right, I've gone ahead and put in a little piece of skewer into our latch because that's another thing we don't want to break because then it could actually uh, fire earlier than we want to. And uh, friends usually don't like it when you accidentally shoot them in the back. So we've got our latch here, it slides nice and easy goes to the back, once it gets past our uh, firing pin, it actually is now locked into place. All right, looking good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make another piece. It's gonna go uh, from one side up over the top to the other, just to give us some stability here and to also help us in drawing it back as well. So what I'm gonna do is perforate just the top layer of the cardboard, not go all the way through. So that way it will bend, but it'll still be attached. So this way our latch will not fall out left or right, but there's still a gap above our little guard and the actual top of the stock. So that way it's you know not providing extra drag on the release. Now it is time to attach our rubber bands to our latch, which is just as easy as grabbing and looping it in. There we go. Thank you. 
Moment of truth. Yeah. Reload. That would have hit him if he was, had been there. That's his fault, not mine. Yeah, I'm gonna try a pencil. Well, there you have it, the cardboard crossbow. Definitely learned a lot, especially about how different things definitely work better as ammunition. But that is the beauty of doing DIY. Now, if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe to Gamma Ray, and we'll see you on the next episode of Popcraft. Oh.